Well, there's no better reward for hard work and dedication in the UAP than a gold medal finish. Now, UAP Season 85 Individual Women's MP Champion, Juliana Gomez, joins us tonight to talk about her journey in fencing. Welcome to the game, champ. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Thanks for having me. No, it's a great. We're excited to have you here. Uh, you know what? We saw it all over on social media, uh, your posts saying that this was two years in the making. A lot of people who probably don't know you as well might not understand what that meant. First of all, what did you mean by that? And how did that lead to your spot on top of the podium? Two years in the making. It's just when I started fencing, it was two years ago, I shifted from volleyball. And I had set my sights on big goals, um, including the UAAP and winning a championship for my school, the University of the Philippines. So you left her sport. Yes. And you pursued your own, another I one. I did, yes. And you, and you did great there. That's amazing. Thank you. I mean, earlier, uh, before we went live, I was asking her, hey, weren't you just playing volleyball? So maybe let's take a few th steps <laughs> yes. back and like tell our viewers, um, when did you start fencing? Because I've known that you've been playing uh, yeah. volleyball since you were in high school. So, yes. and you started fencing, what, two years two ago? Two years ago, so could you, middle of the pandemic. Yes, exactly. Yeah, start of the pandemic, okay. yes. All right. So, um, during the pandemic, I just decided that, okay, I can't play volleyball anymore because it was considered a contact sport at that time. Right. So then I just started fencing with um, the modern pentathlon team uh, in our mock city, Leyte. Mm -hmm. And I just felt like I had a future in the sport. And so I just kept going and I ranked um, nationally so that I could join the UP fencing team and the rest is well, history. Well, it I does. Mean, it's in the genes. Yeah, I was going to say, it runs in the blood, right? <laughs> and okay, let's not beat around the bush with regards to that because it does run the family. Dad, well, obviously a gold medalist when it comes to fencing internationally. Was there a bit of pressure? Was there a bit of a challenge, an inspiration? How did you look at it? Because I know that sometimes Fathers can be big shadows mm -hmm. on an athlete, especially if you play the same sport. In my case, it was zero pressure and mm -hmm. just 100% inspiration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. So, how does it, how does it feel like for him that he'll be known as the father of a UAP champion this time? <laughs> <laughs> well, that makes me happy okay. because I mean I was known as the daughter of a fencing champion. Yeah. So I'm happy that I'm making him proud exactly. in the sport that he loves the most. Yeah, you know, it's, an, it's incredible and uh, I ob obviously have a soft spot for stuff like that. But when you look at the fact that you've only started fencing for two years mm -hmm. against other athletes who have been doing it a bit longer, I'm sure that in the last two years, in terms of catching up, mm -hmm. you probably had a lot of pressure on yourself. How did you go through that challenge in particular and of course trying to, you know, ma match up against all of these other athletes? I did everything I could so that by the time I started competing, I wouldn't be going in as someone who was trying to get experience. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go in as a contender. So wow. start of the start of my fencing journey, I made it a point to get the right strength and conditioning, train twice a day, fence with stronger fencers, mm -hmm. work with a sports psych. I just tried to, you know, have all bases covered just so by the time the pandemic ended, I'd be a much stronger athlete and far from a beginner. I mean, I think the stars were really aligned for you because earlier when we were talking, I found out that, you know, during the pandemic, you were training with the national team already. So, you know, yes. at the beginning, parang birth of fire kagat, you know, walang uh, pa simpleng uh, lakad lakad or testing yeah. the waters for you. It was just, you, you know, you sprinted before me... you, ra you walked. <laughs> exactly. So, how was that like, you know? Thinking about joining the fencing world and then being able to train and compete with the national team. For me, I didn't see it as a challenge. Although it was challenging, I saw it as an opportunity that, mm -hmm. you know, most most people aren't really given. I, I, I'm just so grateful that I was able to experience that yeah. because that led me to this moment. There are some opportunities that don't come to a lot of people, but then not taking it is probably a bigger sin than not actually having it. Yes. You look at the yeah. fact that the uh, UP in general are not necessarily considered as a fencing powerhouse. In fact, mm -hmm. that distinction goes to University yes. of the East. Correct. But here you are winning the only individual medal, gold medal rather, for UP here. First of all, how, does, how proud does that make you personally? And just how, how much should we look forward to in terms of the UP fencing program in the future? It just makes me feel like my work has worked. 
But at the same time, I hope that uh, fencing gains more recognition, that other people will be more open to, you know, trying the sport and not being intimidated by it. And I'm also hoping that uh, we in the UP fencing team get more support from the school. Okay. All right. So. We've been talking about how this is your first year playing uh, for the school and the sport. Third um, year playing the sport, uh, mind Third you. year playing the sport, <laughs> yeah. yes, exactly. Um, but like, okay, gold medal in the UAAP. You've been exposed to a couple or a lot of international tournaments since then. And what's next for you? Are you, and you're a senior right now, is yes. there going to be a fifth year for Miss Gomez in defending UAAP division? Of course, I want to <laughs> defend the title, that's for sure. Yeah. But I am aiming to be able to join the national team yeah. for, you okay. know, next year's roster to hopefully compete in the Steve Games and the Asian Games. And of course, uh, there's going to be a long road. And uh, again, we already see you nationally rank. In fact, you had the, the Philippine uh, colors already and you take a look at what's next for you in terms of that pathway what mm -hmm. do you feel that needs to be done by you to secure those spots I think at this point I just have to continue competing getting used to the feel of competition and okay. just continue on um, training and going back to the basics every once in a while all right so you know what you're an inspiration in the sense that it's never too late to start, apparently. Exactly. Definitely not. So, I mean, like for those who are thinking about it, considering it, discovering fencing date, whether yes, it be yeah. through you, whether it be through K-drama, <laughs> what do you have to say to them? Keep going, continue, just get into it. I did when I was 19. I officially started when I was 20. You can either go in as, a, as someone who wants to compete, you can go into fencing as a hobbyist. It doesn't matter. It's a, it's a sport that you'll fall in love with. All right, Z, All I right. think that's a sign. I know. That we, no, 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 no. We will help younger fencers. Okay. Oh, oh. Yes, there okay, you go. Wait a minute, wait a Juliana, really appreciate Juliana, you being here. Congratulations you. again. Thank you so much. All right.